but great to have the students back uh, tonight. Um, they had us a little too hyped up, but the student section was just crammed up there, uh, which was great to see, and, and my guys excited to play. Um, so a great crowd. Um, we needed them. Our league is terrific. That was a really good team we beat. I, what a great year to be a Big Ten fan, Maryland fan. Watch these teams come in here and, and compete. And, um, you know, it was a heck of a game. And we really couldn't lose them. We got fortunate. Garza was in foul trouble a lot of the game. Um, but we had a stretch in the second half. We really, really guarded. We were able to separate ourselves. Uh, you know, if Wiggs just could have knocked down a couple more threes, might not have been as close. But um, And then at the end, you know, it was frustrating because we were fouling. But we, got, we were able to work on a lot of things, press offense and different things that we need to work on, getting the ball inbounds, getting fouled, making free throws. You know, I didn't think the game was ever going to end, but it was like extra, pra you know, really good practice for us uh, there late uh, in the game. So really proud of my guys. Anthony Cowan was off the charts, efficient, fast. Pest. Um, he's having fun, and um, he, he was really good, Re really, really good. He looked fresh, uh, which is great. And I've been resting him more on practice days, and, and show tonight he was really fresh. If you've been hurt in a truck crash, call the Jackridge Law Group. We have decades of experience handling truck crashes. We recognize issues unique to trucks, including black box findings and DOT regulations. We find insurance others don't know exists. Some think the only coverage is with the truck, yet we've found millions more insurance with the broker. It's important to collect information, find representation immediately. Truck cases are complex. If you've been hurt in a truck crash, call 855-BIG-DOG-1 right now. This is Mason Viner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast. Mark, in terms of turning, uh, taking care of the ball for yeah. long stretches, how much has that contributed to this recent stretch of better play? Yeah, I mean, we ended up with 10 to 9. I think we had two late. Um, and uh, guys are just making better decisions. I didn't like all the shots we took, especially in the first half. But you know what? I'm like, hey, guys, play free. You know, we've been so uptight all year. Let's, let's go out there and just, if you're open, let it go. And... Um, so we have confidence in our defense, but um, it's it's huge. Now we ended up with 10, uh, uh, which is more than I wanted, um, but uh, uh, it's big. I don't, what is it, 21 in our last three games, seven a game, that's it's pretty good. We'll take it. We worked on that. We work on turnovers. We've been working on it for two years. I know you think I'm crazy, but that we have, and it's nice to see. Um, Sticks has played well defensively, yeah. but Luca takes that to a different level. I mean, how much did you see from his ability to affect shots and, and just his presence around the place yeah. tonight? Yeah, he had five blocks and his length. And, you know, I got on him, um, I can't remember what game, it was a Wisconsin game. And I was like, you're missing a lot of block opportunities, just being lazy and not running back and coming from behind and blocking shots and things. I said, Bruno used to do that for us. You know, Bruno's not coming back. <clears throat> So since that game, Sticks has really started to do it. He had a couple from behind tonight and some pins and at great lanes. So his defense, he was really smart. He, he did his work early. Guards is what a great player he is. Almost impossible to guard, especially with all the shooters and how fast they're moving. And, and it makes it hard to double. And <clears throat> so but Sticks really played smart defensively tonight. I don't think he gets enough credit for how good he is defensively. Um, tonight, I remember, oh, he had five blocks, what a great player. But now nah, his footwork and giving up weight and things he's doing every night is, is, is amazing. Coach, Anthony obviously was phenomenal tonight, but we've seen this throughout the season where he's had these moments of being great. What is it going to take for him to be able to get this consistently, yeah. have, have that instinct every single game? Is it the practice that you alluded to and giving nah. him a break? Well, let's be realistic. He's not going to have 31 every night. Yeah, he'll, um, he's human. Um, he's had, I, I think Anthony's one of the top point guards in the country. I think he'll be in the Bob Cousy deal and end up in the final five and have a chance to, to win that sucker. So he's terrific. And the, the thing I love about it, it's all about winning with Anthony this year. So I uh, asked for 31 a night, it'd be tough, but you know.
consistently with his decision making. He's been really good for us. Mark, uh, two parts here. One kind of more on Anthony. <clears throat> Between the rebounding, the scoring, the decision making, the distributing, was that as complete a game as, as he's played for you? And just in general for you as the ball movement tonight, it seems like a continuation of the last two or three games or so. Yeah. That that's gotten a bit better here. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> probably. It's probably his best game. I, I, I don't know. Jeez. I just. I just feel like I survived something tonight. You know what I'm saying? It's a really good win. This league is just it's amazing. Um, yeah. So if you put all, you know, I, you know, you got the rebound, he flexed, and all that stuff out there. So he's having fun with it too. But um, he had a nice couple, of nice, really good box outs against the big guys in front of the post when we were switching. And yeah, it probably was. And the thing is, it's like the game's so much easier for him because he just figured out how to play it. And uh, he got tired of us. Getting on him and showing him film, and boom, he just he just flipped. He's just become this terrific, understanding basketball player. And what's amazing, what he's doing is he's he's helping me coach the team when we're being a little bit not not boxing out or not communicating. And he was he was screaming at him pretty good that last about three minutes ago timeout. He was when I walked in the huddle, he was he was on him pretty good before I got in there. So then I didn't have to do it uh, type deal. So. He's very comfortable doing that now, which is great. Coach, you talked about you know wanting to how you try to change the way this team is playing since Christmas, and now yeah. having these four straight wins, especially with this you know win over a ranked team in Iowa. Do you feel like the team is really you know hitting its stride right now? Well, we rebounded better in the second half. I really was on our guys about rebounding. We just talk about rebounding all the time. That's a deficiency of ours. We, you know, Pat's question, we, we are moving the ball better. Uh, we're sharing the ball better. More guys are playing smarter and better. So, yeah, are we playing our best basketball? Probably. Probably. But I, I just think there's more in us. We, 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 our bench has got to play better. they, they got to go in. I thought Sorrell was good. I thought Wiggs, except for his shot, was good. Uh, but we got the guys got to play better. And I was going to play Chol tonight, but hard you know he's just not he's not a hundred percent so it's just hard it's, every possession matters and um, you know so we'll see I, I got we got to have depth as we move forward but our our frontline guys are terrific. Mark uh, one last question on Anthony in your mind what determines game by game whether Anthony takes over a game like yeah. tonight or whether he's more complimentary well Purdue wasn't gonna let him take over <clears throat> whenever time he drove they went you know, and then we weren't making shots in the second half. First half we made nine when they came and helped. Second half we didn't make them, and they got back in the game. So tonight they came and helped, but they, we had them so spread out, and he's so fast. He was able to do what he had to do. And then he made a couple of really tough ones. Um, but he was feeling it. We all saw it. We just kind of got out of his way and let him do his deal tonight. And You know, we had some – I don't like shot clocks going down five or six and Anthony out there dancing with the ball. I'm not in love with that. We've gotten away from that this year, but tonight he was feeling it and was able to make plays late in the shot clock, whether it's getting fouled or getting a shot for somebody else or making a tough three. Coach Joe Wieskamp got in a little bit of a rhythm early on yeah. with two early threes, and then Dow and Aaron really seemed yeah. to pick up the defensive intensity on him. What was the biggest adjustment that you guys made? I don't know. He's so good. Golly, that he's a great. You know, he's McDonald's All American, and um, he's a pro in my mind. Um, whenever he decides to be that kid. Um, so we just locked in. We, we got better defensive in the second half. Earlier we were switching screens, and we thought that was the way to guard him, and it wasn't. And he got one. We went under a ball screen on him, which is not very smart. Uh, so we made a mistake there. He, got, he hit his first one, then we fouled him on a three. But now nah, Daryl and, and Wiggs are really good defenders. And, you know, I met with Daryl on Tuesday, and I said, man, you've lost your identity. you got to get it back. And your, your identity is a great defender. And uh, tonight, Daryl was locked in defensively. He got in foul trouble, but he was terrific on defense. Last one, no. and Given the game that Aaron had at, at Iowa and, and that it started him going, coming off the bench, are, are you, I mean, even though he missed a lot of shots tonight, are you yeah. happy with the confidence he has to yeah. take those shots? And, and, and obviously, you know, if he had a few, you get a, you know. Yeah, he just makes three of those wide open ones. It's a different, you know, we're not over there sweating it out as long as we were. but. Um, but he had guts enough to take them. I think he only took maybe, I think, two bad shots. A transition one in the first half I wasn't in love with, and the one off the dribble with like six seconds to go, could have made a place for somebody else, I thought. Because guys kept making plays for other people uh, throughout the game. But 
He defended, he rebounded, and he had a look of confidence on his face, and that's that's a big barometer for me. I'm all the time like, hey man, come on, get the, get our faces right. Let's let's play with confidence, act like you know, let's act like winners, and things like that. So he, he played that way, even though he didn't make shots tonight. All right, guys, thank you. Go players,